Okay, folks, how you doing? Um, I'm filming this. Um, this you picked on rock. And I'm filming this because I went through a lot of YouTube videos and could not find a single how to put it up video. So, this is a log cabin uh, tent with screen porch by Timber Ridge. Uh, this is a 13 by 12. 86 inch. Now, all I've done so far is I put down the four corners and I've got all the the frame laid out, okay? I've never put one of these up before. So, my video camera here uh, goes over every 30 minutes. It restarts. So, if it takes me longer than 30 minutes, it's going to take longer. Of course, all you folks know Mishka over here. Hey Mishka, say hi. So I got the camera at the best angle I can think of. Let me go around the back of the camera and make sure we're looking right. Okay, there's the camera. I got the best I can. Move over. All right. Or I can say go color coded. So what we have here is we have an arm that goes into a buckle. It's blue. We have another. This is a ridge piece. Okay. This goes here and this goes here. Okay. Now, how do you know if you're forward or backwards? Here's, how, here's a key trick. Um, on the main sections here on the main three sections there's a little label here and it says right here screen porch side so all three of these are on this side where the screen porch is going to be okay so let me finish put this thing up this is not going to be lap time or anything else and make is going to sit right here and help out and do what you can Are you helping? Hop off. Hop off. Okay. Now the directions also say on this thing to put this thing together first before you try raising it. Okay. I agree. Now this has a red and this goes into red. Of course I'm not squared up yet. I'm out of sync on my square. And I didn't bring a square with me, so we're going to square this the best we can with what we got. We got blue here, and we got blue over here. I think what's going on is this is bowed right here. Okay? That goes right there. That gives me this big area right here for the actual bedroom. And now it's going together a lot easier this way. I'm not getting in a hurry here, folks. But I'm not going to make mistakes and end up hurting myself. And by the way, I'm putting this up by myself. Okay? Now, there's a hint on the directions, okay? As you can see, there's other poles laying here. There's six. That's where the uprights. Now, there's a hint on the directions, and it says, put your roof on first before you attempt to raise it. So, we're going to put this tent, this roof on. Of course, everything's hooked to it. We're in a fairly shady area. Oh, and by the way, for those of you guys who are watching this, we are at a place called Wooded Acres Campground. And 
Houghton Lake, Michigan. So I gotta figure out which one's front, which one's back. I don't know if it makes a difference, so we're trying to figure this out. This is our ridge line piece here. You can tell because it has a sewed on part uh, where it's sewn to go right on the ridge of the camp or the ridge of your roof. I know I'll probably have to do this ten times to get it done right back and forth. That's okay. Like you said, I've not seen any. I searched too, folks. I looked and looked and looked. And I could not find one single video of how to put this thing together. So we're going to do our best to you. See if we can't get it in. My ridge doesn't want to stay up over there. I'm hoping it'll pop right on. But not quite sure. Actually, if we were going to do a winter tent, right there's our winter setup. That way we're low to the ground and uh, conserve heat instead of trying to heat the whole thing and wait for the heat. So, there's a course right there. Uh, for this roof, though, I don't think I'd be cooking inside it. Not unless I had an external chimney. So we'll go that route. Okay. I think they, I got that on about as much as I can right now. It's not going to square up until I have it up. So, that's going to be the downfall here. Now, there's clips on this thing, and I don't know if those clips go low or high. I'm assuming, since the clip is right there, it probably goes low, or the clip goes up on the higher side. Again, never put one of these up before, so. Bear with me here, folks. All right. I got the first one clipped in. If Mace could get off the other pole, we'll get the other one in. I'm only doing the outside ones right now. I'll get the middle ones here in a minute. But right now I just want to get my corners in so I don't lose anything on this roof. Doesn't clip in easy. don't work as well as I thought they would. And according to the directions, the legs are supposed to go out on an angle. So, for a little 
little pavlon, or whatever the heck you want to call them, this would be all right for just a quick little get out of the rain shelter while you do everything else. So, there we go. I got the roof up. Um, as you can see in the back four, that's going to be the bedroom, and then up front here is going to be the, uh, the porch. So, I directly let say that the center here is dead center, flips, and there's a, uh, there's a hole up here. in here. Okay. And there's a hole right here. Okay. Up in these uprights right here is a little, oh, I want to say a three-inch hole, maybe a quarter-inch hole. And these little hooks, like what's on right here, let me come in closer and let you see. Okay? Uh, if you can see right here, that little clip, and I'll take you inside here real quick. Hold on, let me get this thing. Alright, as you can see, there's a little clip. There's a little hole right here. And this is going to be tough. Yeah. Okay, let me set the camera down. I'm going to have a face in the back of the tent this time. Okay, it looks like i got to move my whole section. I don't have enough in the back to catch. Yeah, and I'm doing this by myself, folks. So... But it says before I hook it into those ground pieces that I need to flip things first. Okay, and as you can see, there's the inside for how it sets up. Alright, now we've got a plastic clip right here that goes on this part. Then we have another metal clip and it goes on the outside of the post right here. And this post, you pick up this little doohickey here, slip it inside, and it locks in. Alright, I'm going to try to move this down right here so you can see me better on this side. Okay. All right. Again, we have a plastic clip right here that goes on the upside. We have a metal clip on a bungee, so you got some room to maneuver here. And it goes on this frame. Then this little doohickey right here, I don't know what the heck you want to call this thing, but it goes down inside right there, or the plate does, and we clip that. Now, I've got a tarp underneath this thing, as you can see. Here's the back of the log cabin. I'm going to take you around. We still got a lot more work to do here, so I'm going to bring you to the front. Okay? Okay. Now, we got to get the mid-sections. You want to just work your way forward, or if you're going back to front, work your way that way. If you're trying to do it the corners first, you're going to end up, by what I'm seeing, you're going to end up uh, messed up here. Um, well, you got an upper clip here. You got a side clip here. Got another little thing here that goes down inside. I 
I'm going to work the other side now to get it even. Okay. Okay. This actual side is actually for the corner of the actual can itself. Move that stuff out of the way. Now we're going to work on the porch itself. Okay. I didn't stake the porch down yet because I want my porch tight. Okay, I want to tighten the whole thing up together. Oops, forgot this plane. I got this clip. Got another, another one here that goes in a hole. Another little clip. Okay, there's the porch. Now, looks like we're done. And I want to say no, we're not. Because here's what's going to happen, folks. I bought steaks, good steaks, okay? I did not use what they provided. Um, I didn't like them. I've got 10 inch nail stakes, it's got a clip on there, and a place where you can tie things off to if you need to, but by tightening this up I should tighten everything up together. doing it this way because I want to be able to open one side only. Okay? So I want to be able to nail this one down. That way I have one side I can open. Mace gets over there like, okay hurry up Ted, I want to get inside my new house. Okay, now, uh, I'm going to turn the camera a little. Alright, we've got cordage here to uh, extend this out so we can tie this down. We've got rain coming in this week, so... I'm going to set this out to where the rain doesn't bother us and the wind doesn't bother us. Now we want to tighten her up. There we go. Alright. We got more to do. That's okay. Out of that bag. Was that last steak? What do I have now? Well, I knew I was going to run out of steaks. So, on eBay, or I'm sorry, on Amazon, I know they're cheap steaks, see? And they're cheap, but they're all metal. They're not plastic. I know a lot of people like their plastic steaks, but I do not, okay? I'm sorry, I just don't like my plastic steaks. So we're going to turn this over. We're going to set this up. I haven't forgot about you yet, baby. OK. 
Okay. Haven't forgot about you a bit. Okay. Fix me a bit. Get this thing set up right. Okay, sun's coming out, so let's take you in the back, okay? Oh, and here's what our log cabin tent looks like so far, okay? I'm going to put you in the back back here. Focus a little bit towards that corner. If you guys want to leave the video about now, that's okay. I've got the main put the main section picked up. Um, some add-ons I did for this was I got a piece of grass carpet and it's going to be in my porch and I'll show you that in just a minute if you're willing to stay here long enough for me to put this together and uh, If you're willing to hang on right now and let me get all this put in. I've got her tied down right now. Yeah, sometimes she can be a nuisance when I'm trying to put stuff together. But she's been real good today. She's looking for squirrels. Now, well, I guess they're working on a road or something out there. I don't know. And we're facing the road at this campground. Okay. I'm going to get the side while you're sitting right there. I've got trees right here, so I'll just use the trees. Do a, a back tie knot. I don't know what it's called. It's just what I do. I don't know my knot names. I like some of you experts do. But I got trees on either side of me, so the sides I can tie right to a tree and save myself a. I can't hear though, can I? Nope. This one I'm going to have to tie right to the ground. There's the grass carpet. Um, bear with me right now. I'll put this up. Or put it down rather, sorry. I'm saying up and down, down and up, whatever. If I did any cursing on here, I do apologize. I try to make these things kid friendly. Which means kid friendly, they, uh, YouTube won't let you do uh, comments. Um, that's some kind of thing that they're doing now. You do a YouTube video and you set it up as kid friendly. They turn around and say, oh, well, you can't make comments now, which I think is wrong. I do. I think it's totally wrong that you guys ain't allowed to put comments if I make kid friendly. This one I won't. This one I'll make strictly 100%. I'm not a carpet installer, okay, so bear with me. Um... Now this is supposed to be a 12 foot piece of carpet, grass carpet.
That's going to go out here on the porch. That's why me and Mitch can sit out here at night and the bugs can't get us. That's pretty close. It ain't exactly, this carpet's supposed to be cut at exactly 12 foot. This is that artificial grass carpet. There's one more spot for a stake. So, shoot. I'm all staked out. Um, oh, no, I don't. I got another bag of these cohoons, 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 I don't know. I can't pronounce stuff properly. that one below the surface just because uh, I don't want to trip on it all week. All right. Hold on a minute. There's our chair. I think I got that admired. This chair. This table, however, I got from Walmart. It's a little old cheap aluminum thing that, you know. So now I got a table, chair. I got a place to put her water over here. Um, I'm going to shut the video off, but before I do, we're just going to scan around real quick. Okay, and we're going to let you see the sides. Um, oh, and by the way, uh, there's an electrical plug outlet right here. And at that, this campground, there's an electrical hookup, so I can hook up to it. The picking cable's in the back near the fire ring. So, all right, folks, we'll talk to you later. Bye.